Next up, we got to discuss it. The Oprah special, Shame, Blame, and the Weight Loss Revolution. Um, and disclaimer to everybody, uh, Dr. Whiting's book, The Weight Loss Revolution, has no association with this show. His book, The Weight Loss Revolution, is an incredible book. It shows you how to lose weight healthy and to do it right so you're able to maintain that that new weight that you have. Her show, very insightful, um, although, you know, the motives are a little questionable, but in no way that the uh, Weight Loss Revolution, your book, is related to the Oprah special. We've been getting calls about it, and I thought it was kind of funny because uh, uh, there's no association. The groundbreaking book, Weight Loss Revolution, um, took you 50 years of science to understand uh, to, to learn and understand the body's chemistry to achieve and maintain permanent weight loss safely and effectively using nutrition and science. She's not necessarily doing the opposite of that, but what are your thoughts on the Ozempic special saying that, you know, obesity should be treated as a disease? That's a good place to start. I totally agree. Yeah. Uh, but I'm not so sure using drugs that were meant for one particular purpose to apply those in another area. Ozempic and its sisters were designed for type 2 diabetics. Yeah. And when they're used in such instances, they can be significantly beneficial. Probably life-saving for some people. In some cases, yes. Yeah. The problem is that when you use these same drugs uh, for non-diabetic weight loss, uh, it becomes problematic down the road. First of all, we know for a fact that when someone uses a drug like Ozempic for weight loss and they stop using it, oh, they reach their normal weight, whoopee, and so they stop taking it, uh, we know for a fact that they will gain all of that weight and probably more uh, in fairly short order. Yeah. Which means they're going to have to take this stuff indefinitely. And if you're a type 2 diabetic, that might be justified. But if you're not, uh, it's problematic. And what's happening is, is that the drug is forcibly causing weight loss. And your body sees that as starvation. We've talked about that yeah. before. And then when that drug is withdrawn, that artificial crutch that's forcing weight loss. Once that's removed, the body goes, wow, the fast is over. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the starvation, the famine is over. And it starts packing weight back on, preparing for the next famine. Mm -hmm. And uh, we know that that's what happens. Now, if you're a type two diabetic, you may end up taking Ozempic for life, maybe or maybe not. Um, in which case, that, that rebound effect would be uh, less problematic. But if you're taking it for weight loss, eventually your doctor is going to likely say, okay, your weight's down to where it should be. Uh, you don't need to take that anymore. And I'm not going to give that to you anymore because you don't need it. Mm. And then when, as soon as that crutch is withdrawn and your metabolism has a chance to healthy respond instead of forcibly subdued by uh, external drug means, you're going to start regaining weight very, very rapidly. And we haven't yet talked about the fact that uh, Ozempic and the drugs like it have potentially serious side effects in people who use them. Yeah. Um, you can go online and just Google Ozempic side effects and find out for yourself. But they revolve around gastrointestinal disturbances uh, some of which can be long-lasting, if not permanent, even after you stop taking it. Uh, pancreas issues, bowel issues. Uh, so it goes back to the fact that there's no such thing as a free lunch. Yeah. There is no such thing as a magic bullet that doesn't have a price to pay connected with it. You cannot alter the human biochemistry and not expect to pay for it in yeah. the end. So what's a better alternative? And when you give us the better alternative, 
We have to look straight to your book, The Weight Management Revolution. Yes, I, I've been working with weight management, oh my gosh, 50 years now. Yeah. And uh, even up until quite recently, and perhaps uh, again in the future, we're learning new things about the human metabolism. And we know how to manipulate it, but we know how to do it so you don't get a stress response cycle, which means you don't get a rebound effect, which means you don't just gain weight the minute you stop the program. Our program is three phase, uh, which includes a maintenance program. And that maintenance program uh, allows you to maintain your body weight uh, without endless dieting. And you are an example of that. Yeah. <coughs> I mean, you lost 60 pounds and you never regained an ounce of it. Nope. And that was what, 10 years ago? 10 yeah. years ago, yeah. And you're still at a solid 175 pounds. So. Uh, that's what you can get when you do it right. Uh, it's called Set Point. If you're interested in further uh, exploring our concept, uh, we have other videos up about that, uh, about Set Point and about starvation and your metabolism and so forth. Uh, you can also get my book, The Weight Management Revolution. It is available as an ebook. Uh, you can go to Amazon.com, type in The Weight Management Revolution by me, Dr. Whiting. It'll come right up and you can download it instantly. It has everything we've learned about uh, weight management. Uh, we talk about intermittent fasting. We talk about uh, exercise. We talk about um, cheating and how to cheat right. We talk about how to get your mind ready for weight loss. Uh, yes, your mind plays a great big part of this whole thing. And it also includes a couple of hundred recipes that we've tested, uh, depending, and there's sections of those recipes depending on your body type, which it will also teach you how to find out.